Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we're going to take a look at some products from an artist that we have seen before on my channel. The artist that I'm talking about is Jonathan Yekic. Now Jonathan lives in Germany and he makes nice little carvings. Now not just like beads that you see here but other things like cups, bowls and utensils. And with that said, here I have one of the beads that I have had for quite a while. I have really grown to like this Punisher bead. It is something that I enjoy greatly, and I always look to get more work from Jonathan. Now, today's video, we're going to take a look at a few other products, things that are very unique, nice, well-made, and just an excellent overall piece. And if you are interested in seeing just a little bit more about what I'm talking about, do me a favor. Stay tuned. Now the work of Jonathan Yekic is exquisite. Exquisite to the point where I thought it would make an excellent gift for my brother-in-law. Uh -oh, so you here you see him during the Christmas festivities opening up his present. It's a paper tube! Yay! Greasy car? No, you're wrong. Oh. Oh, there you go, yep. <laughs> nice. That's how it's done. Sharp. <laughs> Eyes, all eyes are on me right now. Dun, dun, dun. It's a plastic bag. It's a cup. Is it a cup? No. <laughs> Is it a cup? What do we put in here? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. That's my dog. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. It's the coolest thing ever. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a handmade wooden spoon with a holly on it. Oh my God, I love it. You like it? <laughs> and it has a pouch. <laughs> yeah. You know how long it took me to find the exact size for the pouch <laughs> with a clip? This is handmade, obviously. Oh, yeah. Wow. You this like is that? so cool. Nice. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I knew you'd need the case so you could bring it with you. Oh and it's my God. like wicked lightweight. Which is super light. You like that? <laughs> Remember us, we were talking about spoons, you're like, I like one with a little girth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There you go. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. When I got in touch with Jonathan, I really wanted to provide my brother-in-law with something special. His dog Holly goes on hikes with us through the mountains. So I figured, why not get Jason a cool piece of gear that actually incorporates his dog? So after providing Jonathan with a number of photos, he carefully carved Holly into the handle of the spoon. Using ink to make sure that the pattern would stay and stand out, here you can see the finished product is beautifully done. This spoon is made of cherry wood and is absolutely gorgeous with a beautiful finish. This spoon has an ergonomic shape, very nicely shaped, overall beautifully done, an excellent finish with a custom etched handle. And even given its overall large size, is very lightweight. Now I knew this was going to be used in the backpacking application, so I wanted to make sure I was able to protect it. After doing a whole bunch of research, I found a case that was absolutely perfect for this spoon. At 21 centimeters long by 5 centimeters wide and around 3 centimeters high, I knew the case had to be very specific. But the case I found here is not only the exact perfect size, but it also gives a little pouch and the ability to make a small kit. With a carabiner, this works out extremely well with the ability to clip it to a backpack. The case is overall well padded and will do a plenty suitable job to protect the spoon. Now here you'll see my Vargo Titanium Long Handled Spoon. After weighing this up, you'll see it comes in at 16 grams. But taking a look at the hand carved spoon from Jonathan Yekic, here it rings in at 10. So for the backpacking application, a beautiful handcrafted spoon that's actually almost equal in length, but much larger in the overall size of the spoon. And where it rings in at even less weight, even though I need to put this in the case, I'd say it's definitely worth carrying. So Jason has himself a nice custom 
hand-carved spoon for his backpacking adventures. Now speaking of Jason and shifting gears, one thing I greatly enjoy is a little bit of trail mojo. So there's something pretty cool and badass about having these little beads connected to my bag. Now not that I really need mojo while I'm out on the trails. The outdoor adventure is usually good enough. But I definitely enjoy having one of these little beads with me just as a little added mojo. Now in that regard, Jonathan carved some beautiful little handcrafted beads. So here you'll see my latest addition to my collection. This is the Jason bead. Here you'll see the Jason bead is absolutely beautifully handcrafted. With exquisite detail, this little bead is a great addition to my backpacking kit. With lots of little details from the top to the bottom and from one side to the other, Jonathan Yekich does a beautiful job with these carvings. So again, taking a little bit closer look, there is actually a ton of detail in this tiny little carving. Not only does he take the time to carve it, but color it in. You'll see that the detail around the edge of the mask, around the eyes, the overall color and shape is absolutely wonderful. And this will only improve in time as it patinas. And as I mentioned, I very much enjoy having this as a trail mojo, so connecting it here to my backpack, you'll see this Jason bead is going to be the perfect addition to my kit. Now I was fortunate to have an opportunity to have a bead carved for Joe Robinet. If you follow Joe, you'll know that his dog is named Scout, and it's one of the key components to his channel. So Jonathan carved this bead, and I sent it to Joe as a little memento and a token of my appreciation for his hard work as a YouTube host. But for me, I like to have a little variety and a different mojo depending on my trip. And here you'll see my Master Chief bead. Now growing up I've played a ton of video games and one of my favorite games of all time was Halo. So I worked with Jonathan to come up with this idea for the Master Chief Bead and Jonathan pulled it off beautifully. Again with exquisite detail not only in the carving but the ability to color and shade this in. This is another bead that will weather well in time. But hands down without a doubt one of my absolute favorite pieces of gear this here is my punisher bead this bead has hiked miles and miles and miles with me more than any other piece of gear this probably has more miles logged and you'll see that this is getting an absolute beautiful patina this actually looks like bone it is very cool very well carved, exquisite detail, very subtle, but over time this is just getting better and better with age. I absolutely love this bead and it comes with me on most of my trips. Now these are excellent beads. You can use them as lanyards for knives. You can use them as lanyards for your backpack, zipper pulls, and a whole bunch of different things. I think they're a beautifully made little product and something that I would absolutely recommend you check it out. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A quick look at the work of Jonathan Yekich. And again, I'd like to say thank you very much, Jonathan, for your excellent work. I have very much enjoyed working with you to come up with these little projects. Your work is exquisite, very well done, and I look forward to more of it in the future. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.